The James Webb Space Telescope has just sent back data that is shaking the foundations of astronomy. Located just 4.2 light years away, Proxima b, an exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, is suddenly the center of global scientific attention. This rocky world, slightly larger than Earth, resides within its star's habitable zone, the region where temperatures could, in theory, allow liquid water to exist. But what's really causing a stir are the new atmospheric readings and potential biosignatures that may suggest something extraordinary, signs of life. Until now, Proxima b has always intrigued astronomers. Its closeness to Earth and Earth-like mass made it an obvious candidate for follow-up investigations. However, the challenge has always been its host star. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, a type of star known for its volatility and powerful solar flares that can strip away planetary atmospheres and irradiate surfaces. These harsh conditions led many to question whether Proxima b could support life at all. But new data collected by JWST paints a more nuanced, and perhaps hopeful, picture. Instruments aboard the Webb telescope have detected variations in light patterns and infrared signals as Proxima b passed in front of its star. This allowed astronomers to analyze the starlight that filtered through its atmosphere. What they found was startling. Certain chemical markers in the data, such as methane and carbon dioxide coexisting in unexpected ratios, cannot easily be explained by purely geological or non-biological processes. On Earth, such a combination often signals biological activity. Though not definitive proof, it's enough to fuel intense speculation about microbial life or even more complex ecosystems. This potential discovery pushes us to rethink the limits of habitability. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in the galaxy, and many of their planets were previously dismissed due to radiation exposure and tidal locking, where one side of a planet always faces the star leaving the other in perpetual darkness. But recent climate models suggest that if such planets possess an atmosphere or a thick enough ocean layer, heat could be redistributed across the surface, allowing for habitable conditions even in the twilight zone, the narrow band between the scorching day side and the frozen night side. This is exactly where Proxima b might be holding onto a sliver of habitability. Adding to the intrigue are recent signals picked up by radio telescopes, which some fringe theories speculate could be artificial in origin. While most scientists urge caution, pointing out that such signals are more likely to originate from natural cosmic sources, the timing is uncanny. The fact that we're now seeing possible biosignatures and unexplained electromagnetic activity around the same exoplanet naturally raises eyebrows. The scientific community is preparing follow-up observations with both ground-based arrays and future space missions to confirm whether these findings hold up under scrutiny. There's another surprising twist. JUST's high-resolution imaging also revealed temperature gradients across Proxima b's surface that appear consistent with weather patterns, perhaps even cloud systems. These subtle but consistent variations suggest that Proxima b has an active atmosphere. If so, it might not only harbor water but also a functioning climate, which is essential for regulating surface temperatures and supporting life over geological timescales. The implications of this are enormous. The possibility that Proxima b has a stable atmosphere is a game-changer. Atmospheres serve as protective blankets, shielding a planet from harmful radiation and enabling the water cycle, both crucial elements for sustaining life. Some researchers believe that volcanic activity on Proxima b may be helping to replenish and maintain its atmosphere, compensating for the loss caused by stellar flares. On Earth, volcanism also plays a critical role in maintaining atmospheric balance through the carbon-silicate cycle, which regulates carbon dioxide levels over millions of years. Meanwhile, astrobiologists are already drawing comparisons to early Earth. Billions of years ago, our planet also experienced extreme conditions, yet life not only survived but thrived. The extremophiles, organisms that flourish in the harshest conditions on Earth, provide a model for what life on Proxima b might resemble. These organisms have been found in boiling acid pools, deep-sea hydrothermal vents, and even within rocks beneath the Antarctic ice. If life can exist in such extremes here, why not there? 
The discovery also raises philosophical and societal questions. If life is found on Proxima b, or even just a strong hint of it, it would mean that we are not alone in the universe. Such a revelation would have profound implications for science, religion, politics, and how we view our place in the cosmos. It would mark a new chapter in human history, one in which Earth is no longer seen as the singular cradle of life but rather part of a larger, interconnected biological universe. This potential also highlights the importance of continued investment in space exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched after decades of planning and delays, is finally delivering on its promise. Its sensitivity allows it to probe the atmospheres of distant worlds, peer through cosmic dust, and observe the formation of galaxies at the edge of time. And now, it may have opened the door to detecting life beyond Earth. Yet challenges remain. Scientists must still distinguish between biological and abiotic sources of these atmospheric signals. Methane, for example, can also be produced by volcanic activity or hydrothermal vents. To confirm the presence of life, researchers need more data and new methods of analysis. Future missions, like the proposed LUVOIR and Hebex space telescopes, could provide even sharper insights. These next-generation observatories will be able to directly image Earth-like planets and analyze their atmospheres in unprecedented detail. There's also growing momentum in the scientific community for sending interstellar probes. Breakthrough Starshot, a project funded by private investors including Stephen Hawking's estate, proposes sending tiny laser-propelled spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system. If successful, these probes could reach Proxima b in just a couple of decades, capturing close-up images and environmental data. Though still in its infancy, the concept reflects a bold vision, that humanity can not only observe distant worlds but eventually touch them. Until then, the Webb telescope continues to be our window into the unknown. Its discovery about Proxima b, while still requiring confirmation, has ignited imaginations across the globe. Scientists are now combing through the data, calibrating their instruments, and running simulations to verify what they're seeing. The possibility that something is living out there, Circling a small red star just a stone's throw away in cosmic terms, is now a genuine question, and not just science fiction. This is not just a story about one exoplanet. It's a story about a shift in our cosmic perspective. A story that challenges old assumptions and encourages new exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope has only begun its mission, and yet it has already brought us to the threshold of perhaps the greatest discovery of all time. If Proxima b proves to be more than just a lifeless rock, if it turns out to harbor even the simplest of organisms, then everything changes. Not just how we study the stars, but how we see ourselves. And in the years to come, Proxima b may become more than just a subject of study. It could become a target for exploration, a symbol of humanity's curiosity, and perhaps one day, even a destination. For now, we wait, on the edge of discovery, eyes turned toward the stars and hearts filled with wonder. The cosmos may yet surprise us again.